but your knees are weak, arms are heavy, this guy's making millions, and you make 80k. And this is the reason why most of the people suck at programming. Because they are so focused on criticizing each other in their team or criticizing each other on GitHub in an open source community based on how variable naming should be, on how uh, certain weights should look, how, how, how functions should be, how big your functions should be, and you're not using 80, uh, 80 lines uh, of space, and they are just yada, 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 right? Because they, they, they don't know how to program, they don't know the most important thing, and that's solving a fucking problem, right? That's what you need to do. And that's what nobody can. And that's also the reason why you make 80K a year, right? Which is broke. <laughs> Let us be honest. You can know everything you want about your programming language. You can be so technical good, but you still make 80K, right? And that's because you don't know how to solve a problem. And this is the biggest disease that's currently inside of the tech community. People are focused criticizing each other based on things that does not matter. Why are we arguing on Twitter? Why are we arguing on GitHub? Why are you arguing with your team in a meeting about how long a function should be, how a variable naming should be, instead of arguing, instead of helping each other coming to a real solution? And once you have a solution for your problem, then you can start looking at your code to make it better, right? To make it more readable. And once you have adoption, because 99% of the case, you will quit your project because nobody will ever use it because you're focusing at making things performant. You're focusing at splitting things out instead of focusing on the solution of your problem. Let's take a look at, for example, George Hartz, right? George Hartz, look that guy up. If you see him code, does he write the most beautiful code on the planet? No, he doesn't. Some, some of his Python code is basically just spaghetti. But he solves fucking problems. He solves hard problems and makes a shit ton of money, right? Peter Levels. Peter Levels. He writes the most garbage code on the planet. He's still using jQuery. He's still using jQuery and a simple index.php file without any framework to write the code of his startups. But this guy making millions, right? He's making millions. And everybody is criticizing. Oh, Peter, you, your code is trash. And why are, you, why are you using jQuery? Oh, it's so bad. It's spaghetti. It's spaghetti. But your knees are weak. Arms are heavy. This guy's making millions. And you make 80K. Look at my code. You could say whatever. The, what are you saying, Anthony? What, what are you doing? Look at my YouTube channel. I'm making these complex things. Faster than a team of 10 people. Is my code the best on the planet? Does my code looks the cleanest? Of course not. But I'm making things happen. I'm building stuff. Teams of five people cannot even build at the same time because they are too busy arguing how things should look. They are sitting in meetings discussing how variable names should look like. That's the problem. And that's why you suck at writing code. If you want to become a high value engineer, consider subscribing to my channel, give me a thumbs up and I will teach you everything you need to know to become a top tier developer that can actually solve problems. And I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams. Cheers.